Ducati Street Fighter V4 disassembly and valve clearance check. I threw a lot of information in here. The format should allow you to move through it quickly and pause when needed. This protocol covers valve clearance measurement, but not adjustment. From what I understand, adjustment requires removing camshafts, changing shims, and I'm not even sure how you would handle the timing chain. I'm hoping that soon someone will post how to adjust the valve clearances on a Desmo V4. Most of the images were taken during the reassembly process. Then I used them to depict the disassembly process. Hopefully everything's clear. I have to admit, I was a little intimidated before I started, so I went a little overboard on tagging and labeling everything. But too much organization usually doesn't hurt. Sorry for the disclaimer, but it's definitely possible that I misdocumented or neglected to mention something. So please use your common sense. I'm glad to say, I'm glad I did it. It worked out for me and my bike runs fine now and I know it a lot better. Uh, it was also a good opportunity to perform some other maintenance and I saved some money. There were a few special tools needed, but not bad. I'll just click through the protocol now and stop or comment when necessary. Cleanliness is very important when working on the internals of an engine. I highly recommend cleaning the cylinder heads before taking the valve covers off. Also clean the cavity that the cylinder head sits in, so to prevent debris from falling off it into the engine after the valve cover is off. Definitely be careful of not getting debris down into the spark plug cavities because it will fall into the cylinders when you remove the spark plugs. Again, I stress cleanliness, particular with the oil radiator. Uh, as far as I know, the oil radiator is after the oil filter. So any debris that gets into the oil radar, radiator will go straight into the engine bearings and get lodged there. Um, it's a really bad place to be dirty. Definitely cover the openings to the oil radiator as often and as much as you can. Definitely an optional step, but I like doing this kind of stuff. Again, keep debris out of your oil lines.
Done. See, it works. Can't wait for riding weather. <laughs>